What we're going to do today, so we're going to decoupage with this little bunny tissue paper, which reminds me, I need to get my decoupage. And I'm going to pull you on down and we're going to get started. Okay, here we go. All right, so I'm just going to use instead, I luckily had a canvas. Um, it's just one of those, uh, like an inch and a half, two inch thick canvas. And I got to think this through because my, what I want to do is put it on here. I want to do a background layer with my uh, Cracular stamp from IOD. And then I want to add some molds. And then we want to wax and then we want to dark wax. Okay, and I see right now my thing is not straight. I cannot cut straight for anything. But you know what? I'm going to leave it because I can fix it with the molds. I'm going to go ahead and just give this a coat of bee board. Bee board. I like my little zebra brushes. They stick in my hand very nicely. Especially if you have arthritis in your hands. These, these fit nicely. Okay. So again, I'm just going to put a coat of white paint on here. It is the exact color looks like of the canvas. So y'all probably can't even see I'm putting paint on here. Look, let me go ahead and dry this. So I'm using my Cracular stamp, and yes, I've cut a piece out of it. Um, I don't know where it is. I'm sure it's somewhere, but I used it on some art for smaller pieces. But, okay, so I'm going to pour out. This is Farm Fresh, so I'm trying to kind of pull out some of this color on the bunny, on his jacket, um, to, do, to stamp with the Cracular. I don't know, I might add a little white to that. Just a tad. Um, I was thinking that was more of an aqua, but I think it is more like this farm fresh. So, and then I hope I have enough a lot of different colors here. Probably should have sanded this little piece of, uh, or this stamp, because I don't think I've ever, you know, I don't think I've ever used this part. No telling what it's gonna do. So if you get a new stamp, you really are supposed to kind of go over it a little bit with a, with some sandpaper. I'm really just wanting to do the edges. Oh, that's pretty. It's pretty, 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 pretty. Okay. I think that'll work for now. So I'm just gonna put that down. Okay. So, so he's gonna go in the middle. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and, I'm gonna go ahead and decoupage him on because, and I'm gonna paint my, because when I did my book, I ended up painting my uh, molds separately, okay? So here I've made the molds. I used the trimmings one mold, trimmings two molds, sorry. This one right here, right there, okay? And I went ahead and kind of laid them out and cut them, but I will show you how I did that in case someone needs that. DIY liquid patina. You could use Mod Podge. I think you could use um, DIY's Big Top. 
this is just what I like to decoupage with. And so I'm just gonna get a brush. What's that? That's just that. All right. So, let me see if I can get him straight. take some saran wrap oh and another reason I wouldn't want to stamp underneath this is because sometimes I use a, a lot of paint and it'll have a lot of texture and the texture will come through on your tissue so and sometimes that's okay you could sand over that and that would be a cool look actually so yeah let me um get my handy dandy pizza dough roller out See how it does on this. You don't have to do this, you can use your hands, but I just, I like to use this. <laughs> you could use the brayer as well. Ah yeah, so smooth, so smooth. Uh-oh. Okay, very smooth. All right, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna add a little bit more. Just to make sure I didn't, you know, rub it all off. This dries clear just like Mod Podge. You can make your own as well with glue and water. But this, this works so good, y'all. The liquid patina, DIY liquid patina. Okay. Oh, he's so cute. And look, that, that color did really good. It looks really good with um, his jacket. I wish there was more, actually. I may stamp a little more. I mean, because it's the cracular, so it doesn't matter. Um, it doesn't matter how you, you know, you can stamp over it. You could sand over it when you're done with that and give it a, just, you know, if you don't like some of it. I just love it. I like to layer stuff. So, now this is not the norm of what I do, but I, you know, a lot of, most of the time I will put my molds on my project, okay, and then paint them. But I'm gonna do it opposite today, okay, because I don't want to get paint on my picture. And anyway, this worked well the other day. So I'm just gonna um dry them a little bit because they're they're I just did them so they're really moist see they're very pliable <clears throat> excuse me so I'm gonna dry them a little bit to get them hard enough to paint okay so I'm just gonna take my white uh, be bored any white will do we've got a uh, white swan we've got um, vintage linen lots of now I want a soft brush when I'm painting and the reason y'all probably heard me say this a thousand times but I wonder if that's good enough you want it to be um, if it's really soft and you go to painting, you could mess up the uh, detail on the mold. Cause look at the detail. Okay, it has some good detail in the, on the molds. And so when you're brushing and they're really wet, you could smudge some of that pretty detail on there, which I don't wanna do. So I usually kind of rub and pounce a little. I don't know where all my paint brushes are, but I guess they're in the sink.
So it's dry to the touch, but look, it's still pliable, okay? And so it's already painted, which is good. All right, so. All right, now I need my glue, which I use, uh, I use this kind of glue right here. Tight bond, quick and thick. It sets up pretty fast. It dries clear, which is awesome. All right. Oh, goodness. Let's do that real quick while I have it right here. All right, so I always take the glue up. All right, so I'll just make one and uh, we'll just cut it in half or whatever. Just show you how to do the miter. But I always do use cornstarch. Right here, I just use a little cornstarch or baby powder or something in the mold because that helps it release. The, these can get a little sticky and uh, it'll stick. All right, see, I got a little bit of clay left, but here is the package. So it's IOD, air dry clay, okay, which I have this on my site as well. Again, you can check their website. Okay, so here we go. So when you want to miter something, I'm just going to cut this in half or cut it and pretend we're going to miter this piece. Okay, so say I have the piece right here on the side. No, we don't need this right there. So if I put the piece right here, and then you would you have to you have to lay it right on the top. Okay. And it also needs to be completely on the top, like this, even, okay? Because I had my tissue paper larger, and I thought, well, I can fix it, and I can just do it a little bit up, you know, I can move my mold up a little bit. But that doesn't work. It doesn't work. It, it didn't cut. I mean, I guess you could fix it afterwards. But it just works very nicely if you can just layer it right on top of the other. Take a razor blade because you're gonna go from corner to corner. I hope y'all can see that. But it's from corner, like right in the corner right there. And you're just gonna go to the next corner. I mean, to the corner up here. Like that. Okay, can y'all see that? So it's just straight diagonal. All right, then you take it out. You take a top piece off. There'll be a top piece and there'll be a bottom piece. You just move that and glue them together like that. See? Is that good? All right, so now let's bring it back. Again, I am going to do the stamp um, over that again. I'm trying to figure out if I want to do it a little bit more. So now I'm going to get some clear wax. I hope I have enough. I forgot. I, yeah, I have enough for this project. All right, now I'm just going to use, I'm using DIY clear wax. Taking just a little, this is just a little Crayola brush. It's, they've really become my favorite wax brushes. Now look, I probably would have liked more of the crackle, but I'm just going to keep going. I think when it's all said and done, it's just going to look good. Now 
Now, it's very, very colorful, so I'm just gonna get a little bit out, and I like to offload it. I'll offload it on the lid a little bit. All right, here we go. Get it down in there. Oh my gosh, I think I love it. Looks so good. Look at it up close. Looks so good. But I really want to add some dark. I think I need some dark to bring out um, the bunny. All right, let's see now. Wait. All right. So, yay or nay on the dark? Let's just see. Especially on the inside. You know, because he's so vintagey, I think it, it, it needs to be warmed up. So that warmed it up a little bit. It's not just stark bright, but the colors, the colors match really well with the, so I love him. <laughs> I love the little bunny. Thank you so much. And I, if you're, if you have trouble finding the tissue paper, let me know and I will um, try to find it. But hopefully everybody, uh, it was Kat's um, Vintage Corner with a K, with K's. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, Cat's Vintage Corner with K's. All right, guys, have a great afternoon, and I'll see you next week. Bye.